We have the left-hand side displaying a list of movies, and the right-hand side we like to display the details. So let's uh, let's work on that. Uh, right now, the, um, the the movie is being passed here in the select movies, and we're just displaying it to the console. What we'd like to be able to do maybe is update the state and then pass that state of the movie down to the to the object that uh, to the contain component that's going to render that. Right. So let's create here a dummy movie, uh, which will be just a, a, an initial uh, with an empty title, perhaps. Right. And we can pass that as the initial movie down to the details component. Right. We can pass in the this dot state dot movie right which right now has an empty title movie so if we go to see notice that it renders oops um, title of undefined uh, this dots this dot state dot movie this dot state oh I'm sorry I put it in the wrong place I'm sorry we want to put it in the container in the component in the constructor there it is right here there it is uh, movie, the title of the movie, it's empty, and now it renders, doesn't render anything on the right hand side. Yes? Right? Uh, so, what we could do is now when we search and find and select a particular movie, instead of just spitting it out to the console, right, let's send, let's update the state and send the movie that we just found, send it down to the component that we want through by changing the state. Right? So, this will be um, this.setState. And we'll change only the movie state will be equal to the movie that we're getting from back from the server. Yes, right. Uh, so if we if we now go back, notice that if we click on Batman, indeed Batman is displaying on the right hand side. Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever. See that it's passing the movie, uh, you know, up to the container and then down to the component, right? As we search it from from the uh, from the server, right? And we might want to display a couple more things in the uh, in the details component, right? Maybe uh, put this inside of an H3 for the title. Maybe we want to display the uh, uh, the uh, the image maybe here. IMG source uh, equal the uh, movie dot uh, poster. Okay, so as we as we click here, notice that it, it loads the the poster and the title for each one of the movies as we render, and maybe perhaps underneath we might want to display the uh, the um, the uh, uh, display the plot, right? So this might be maybe the uh, movie dot plot. So as we click, notice that the plot is being displayed underneath. Right and uh, and maybe uh, display the cast. Maybe display here cast. UL and then and then iterate over the cast. And I think we have actors right that display the 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 the, the particular actors. I, I forget. Uh, what was it? Uh, we can look at the the console and the array. The I think it was the cast was. Uh, if we click on Batman, uh, I believe it was the actors. Where's the actors? There it is, actors, right? So we can we can iterate over the actors. We can say movie dot actors. We can split. Notice that is uh, there's a comma in between each one of the actors. We can split on the comma. That gives you that gives you a uh, an array of strings, which we can then map, right? And this will be the actor, the actor name. And we're going to return the li and just display the actor here. Maybe use that as the unique identifier too, as a key. Let's see. Oops. Um, uh, what did it complain about? What is it complaining about? Uh, ul. Cannot read property splits of undefined movie dot actors. Oh, right. So yeah, it's coming from the state, right? And so this uh, the state only define an empty title. We might want to also display uh, create an empty actors. And I think it's capitalized. Actors might be uh, an empty string. 
So this is capital actors, I believe. All right, let's try it out. Let's click on Batman. And there it is. We have Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill. The Lego Batman movie had Will Arnett, Michael Cera, Rosario Dawson, right? So it's displaying the different actors. Make sense? All right, excellent.